last month at the College of Staten Island, a brand new cohort of student occupied campus as students from more Catholic high school came to campus to take in the newly installed Willowbrook Mile. Joined by officials from the Willowbrook Mile, including co-chairs of the Willowbrook Mile Legacy Committee, Nora Santiago and Dr. Catherine Lavender, and committee member, community advocate, and former Willowbrook employee, Diane Buglioli. Students attending got to take in a handful of stations that occupy campus as Buglioli guided the tour with a narrative of the history surrounding the facility, pinpointing some of the buildings that still occupy campus, and chronicling the advocacy that led to its closure. I want you to know that in this building, there was not one stick of personal items for the people who lived there, right? There would, like those toilets, the beds were just one after the other, right? There's not a nightstand like you would get at a hospital. There's nothing. There's no place for pictures. There's nothing. There's nothing that personalizes it at all. Students at Moore, brought to the site by President Gina DeSantis and faculty member Amanda Sorrentino, got to ask questions of Buglioli and share their thoughts on the experience, making it a very poignant and reflective day spent on CSI's campus. The Willowbrook Mile Committee hopes that the trip by Moore Catholic is one of many that organizations can make to the site now that it is complete. The Willowbrook Mile is a 12-station trail that sits on CSI's campus, the New York State Office of People with Developmental Disabilities, and the Elizabeth Connolly Center, and was finalized in mid-September, exactly 35 years since the date of the original Willowbrook State School's closure. For more info on the Willowbrook Mile, visit www.csi.cuny.edu backslash Willowbrook Mile. Be sure to follow CSI News all year long at www.csitoday.com.